It is normal to forget what you learn. It happens to everyone. I don't care how smart you are, you are going to forget things you will learn. It happens to the best of us. But just because it's normal doesn't mean that we shouldn't do something about it. There are things that you can do that will help increase your memory retention, that will help you learn new topics more easily, and that will help give you better daily mental clarity. I am The Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, consider becoming a subscriber today. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips that you can follow that will help boost your brain. These things, when practiced regularly, will help you become better at learning and will give you a stronger mental daily clarity. Exercising your brain is one of the most important things you can do in order to boost your brain. Most people who are watching this video are math people. This is a math YouTube channel. So if you are doing math on a regular basis, the more math you do, the more you are boosting your brain. You're exercising your brain and you're becoming better at math and you're becoming better at thinking. A lot of people though don't do math, but for some reason they are drawn to other intellectual activities like puzzles and things like that. Those activities also boost your brain. So if you're not a math person and you don't do any mathematics, try to find something else, puzzles, crosswords, anything that gets your brain active. It's really, really important to continue to exercise your brain. Getting enough sleep is one most people really don't do. In fact, if I think back to people I've known who've studied mathematics and they've been very good at it, a lot of them slept very little. Does that mean that they could be successful on low sleep? Yes, but that doesn't mean that if they had gotten more sleep, they wouldn't have been even more successful. Sleep makes a difference. I don't know about you, but sometimes I wake up in the morning and I feel like I have my mind back. My mind feels fresh and I am ready to go. That's how you know when you have enough sleep. When you wake up in the morning and you just feel fresh, you feel energized, and your mind is ready to learn. Not getting enough sleep makes it really hard to focus. And if you can't focus, it's going to make learning harder and that's going to create more stress. And you have this cycle of lack of sleep and stressful study sessions. You want to eliminate that. You want to stop the cycle. You want to start sleeping a little bit more. Manage your stress. Stress is a big one. People always talk about all of the negative consequences of stress. It's really bad. Honestly, there's a couple things you can do to manage stress. You can start by getting more sleep, getting more rest, going to bed at an earlier time, making sure you eat when you're hungry, and more importantly than anything, being hyper aware of your emotions. You know, if something is getting you riled up and you're getting upset and you're getting emotional, try to realize that and be self-aware of the fact that, hey, I'm getting emotional. Why am I having these thoughts? And you want to stop that cycle of overthinking in your mind. You know, we all have things that bother us and we all tend to focus on things. If you find yourself thinking about something negative over and over again, that's going to create a lot of stress. You need to be aware of those thoughts and tell yourself, hey, why am I thinking about this? Why do I have these negative thoughts in my mind? Why am I stressed? You know, tell yourself that, you don't need to be having those thoughts, even if you can't fix the situation, because many times you feel like you can't. That's why you're stressed in the first place. So it's having this awareness of your thoughts that can really help stop the stress. Improved nutrition is a huge one, and you want to focus on what are called brain-boosting foods, so fatty fish, coffee, dark chocolate. You can search the internet and you'll find all kinds of foods which people say are good for your brain. And you will notice that all of these foods have one thing in common. They're all natural. It's not processed stuff. So if you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and fresh foods, eat healthy, it's going to make you feel better. And if you feel better physically, you're going to be better mentally, right? Your mind controls your body, right? There's a mind-body connection there. And as they say, you are what you eat. One of the best brain foods is, in my opinion, coffee. I have coffee 
every single day. I just had a giant pot of coffee. And as Paul Erdos used to say, a mathematician is a machine for turning coffee into theorems. One thing I wanna mention about nutrition, and this is just something I've noticed during my study sessions, is that you also don't want to overeat. I don't know about you, but if you eat too much, you might start not feeling well, and it makes your study session not go so great. I find the best way is to just have, you know, equally spaced meals, eat every few hours if I can, and try to eat healthy to keep my body feeling good and functioning so I can continue to work on boosting my brain. And I saved the best one for last because it's probably the most important one. It's to practice what's called mindfulness. So mindfulness is the practice of being self-aware of your thoughts. And this is a really interesting concept because as human beings, you know, we have minds and we think and we're stuck in our head all the time. If you are aware of the thoughts that you're having, you can attempt to control those thoughts. And so when negative thoughts enter your head that create stress, that create procrastination, that create excuses, that create bad sleep habits, that create bad diet decisions, you can be mindful of those things and try to stop those negative thoughts from controlling your actions. Try to treat your study sessions like workout sessions. Many people, before they go to a gym, they'll have a pre-workout shake. When they come home, they'll have a post-workout shake. The same thing with studying. Make sure you are well-rested, getting enough sleep. Make sure you are well-fed, getting good nutrition. Make sure you don't have any stress in your life. Eliminate it. Practice mindfulness. So those are five steps that you can follow that will help boost your brain. Again, exercise your brain regularly. So this is a great one if you're already in school or you're doing some type of self-study. And if you're not, you can start. You can work on mathematics. You can work on physics. You can learn programming. Or you can just read for the sake of reading. Learning is important. And that exercising of the brain is super important. Then you want to make sure you know you get enough sleep, you get good nutrition, you eliminate stress, and you practice being mindful. Compounded, these things are going to make your study sessions better. They're going to make those sessions where you train your brain even more effective, and that's going to give you just better daily mental clarity. Do you have any advice for people watching this video? Do you have other tips that can help boost your brain? People read the comments, and so when you leave constructive comments, it helps other people. So if you have any advice for people, please leave a comment down below. Hopefully this video has been informative and you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, good luck, take care, and get out there and boost your brain.